Today on Lisa's List, we're going to do a bathroom reveal, so stay tuned. <laughs> Sotheby's International Realty in beautiful historic Charleston, South Carolina. And a lot of people have been asking me about the bathroom. Is it complete? Well, we're just about there. There's just a few things, some touch up paint, uh, little things, hang towel bars, uh, things of that nature. So it is complete enough to do a reveal. So we're going to talk about the bathroom. I know member, many of you followed along and saw what we started with, and I'll add some pictures during the video. But this is it. In this bathroom, I wanted a timeless look, something that would not be dated in a few years. So I started with a porcelain tile that looks like career marble. So we did it on the floors, uh, the walls, and we did it from the floor up, all the way up to the uh, ceiling. And then you'll notice we put a beadboard ceiling in, and that's where I got a pop of green. And that green came as an inspiration from the vanity that we used as a sink. And if you followed along before, I did a you know, breakdown of how we took an old dresser and turned it into a vanity for a sink. So when you're looking for things uh, for your house, just always think outside the box, different things that you can use. The other thing, this mirror, it's not something that normally you'd see in a bathroom, but I actually got this at Village Emporium, one of my favorite places to shop. And on the vanity, everything looks better on a tray. And so, it, we needed space for Q-tips and uh, cotton balls and things like that. And I mean, this is a standard container, but for Q-tips, this cute little container here came from a vintage store and um, I used that to store Q-tips in. The other thing that a lot of people come in here couldn't believe I used mouthwash. Who wants, you know, just a nasty old bottle? I used actually a vintage decanter, a liquor decanter for mouthwash. That works and an antique tray. I do have one piece of art in here that picks up the greens in the room. We kept the old brick wall in here as just um, to show the dating of the um, house. And then in the shower, uh, we still haven't got the shower door in, but um, just a standard shower. We were able to do the size that we wanted and um, that was what we did. I'll show pictures of the before and after and then until next time on Lisa's List. Thank you. 